And you say here, it's not about being healthy, it's about being healthier. Yeah, exactly. We kind of think about this destination that we're trying to get to um, with our health. And I think that means we set it out too high. You know, we, we set the bar high. We're going to go to the gym this many times a yeah. week, eat well every day. And then something comes up and we fall at the first hurdle. And then we start feeling bad about ourselves. And that cycle is no good for anyone. So it's kind of like the small, sustainable little things we can do yeah. every day that actually it's like the aggregation of marginal gains. Yeah, so we don't set the bar too high and mm -hmm. we make everything accessible and try and latch it onto something that we yeah. already do automatically. Exactly. It's part immunology, it's part psychology. Forget about boosting, it's all about balance. Speak to that, if you will, for a while. Yes, yeah, so immune boosting is kind of this marketing term. I think of it as like the new greenwashing. You know when we have products marketed as environmentally friendly yep. instead of actually making them environmentally friendly? Yep. I think immune boosting is kind of like immune washings the new greenwashing. You know, with COVID, we see products everywhere marketed that they're going to boost your immune system. But there's no scientifically correct way to boost your immune system, except maybe with a vaccine booster. But we really want to balance this system because actually half of it is turning the other half off. So you need to make sure that you're in balance. To boost Boosted, you have things like allergies, this awful hay fever season that we're entering into, or autoimmune disease. If it's too low, then you're going to open the door to infection. So it needs to be in balance.